Notes on the experiment. When making a water strider, try to use copper wire or any light wire. If a heavy wire such as iron is used, the water strider might sink. When you unwind the wire, it will not be straight. Use your fingers or nails to straighten it. This is easy to do with this copper wire. But if you use iron wire, you might need to use a tool such as a tweezer or a plier. Be careful when using a tool so that you will not get hurt. The iron wire might move. So hold it on one end while straightening it. Try to make it as straight as you can. Use a marker to mark the length. If it is hard for you to see the black mark, just use your fingers to mark the length and cut it at once. Next, we need to mark the different lengths. 2cm, 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 1.5cm, 2cm, 2cm, and 2cm. If you are worried that you might forget the marks when you start shaping the wire, mark them as needed. For example, mark the first and second 2cm for this part of the water strider's leg. Once marked, Bend the wire right away. We just finished making one leg. Let us now make the other leg. Use your finger to mark the last two cm, then bend the wire. Notice that we did not even have to use a marker. Put it on top of the table and flatten both ends. The legs are done. Now we will make the body using these lengths as a guide. Just like the legs, you could make the body using your fingers to mark the lengths. Make sure to use the measurements as your guide. Some students would make it flat, like this. Actually, the legs should rest on top of the table. The body should be vertical, and the legs should be horizontal. Do the same for the other side. It should be able to stand on its own, like this. When we wind the wire around the two bodies, the legs might get out of shape. Let us see how this would affect the experiment with a correctly made water strider on the water. Notice that it floats. With a wrongly made water strider on the water, notice that it sinks. Therefore, we need to make sure that the legs are flat. Put it back on the water. It floats because the water strider's legs do not break water's surface tension. When putting the water strider on the water, you can simply use your fingers to lift and release it gently and it will float. You can also use a tweezer. Pick it up using the tweezer and gently put it down. It will also float in water. 
Do not push down the water strider or else it will sink. 